Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So today I've had a request to do some drumsticks uh, on this uh, Timberline 1300 Traeger. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing started up to uh, 275 degrees. Uh, I've got a packet of uh, drumsticks in a brine right now. It's just water, salt, garlic, and minced onions. And if they've been uh, brining for about, mm, about an hour. Uh, I don't do much more than that. If I do much more than that, It'll get really salty. So let's get this cranked up and get it going. There it is. All right, I'll see you in a minute. Oh yeah, that trigger is rolling now. I'm gonna dry these off a little bit. I've had them in that brine in there. I went in and dumped the water out in the house. Just want to kind of dry these off a little bit and, you know, get that dryer will stick to them a little better. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me get my seasoning right here. So, I'm doing a little bit of this, uh, Honey barbecue, honey hog barbecue by Meat Church. My son seems to really like honey barbecue anything. And I make a honey barbecue sauce that a lot of people really get, really like. So, really heavy. take these and we're going to hang them on our, well this one happens to be a Traeger drumstick holder. I don't know how that's going to work, but we'll figure it out. All right. Put this over here. What do you think about that? Looks pretty good to me. Let's see what it got. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah, that looks plum beautiful. All right, maybe we'll put a little more on the top after we get it on the trigger. All right. All right, took that top shelf out. Well, there's three shelves in this, counting the bottom. I don't know. Uh, I don't keep that middle shelf in and that very little top small one I do but I use it for like uh, baked potatoes and such I want to get you a little better close up Okay, okay guys, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna let those cook for an hour hanging. If you don't have that hanger, that's fine. You gotta flip them halfway through that first hour. And then after an hour, we're gonna take them off, put them in a pan, put foil on it, and put it back on the Traeger. Keep the temperature the same, but we're gonna cook it for about 45 more minutes or until it gets that internal temperature of 165. So uh, while I was out yesterday, because I had a two day weekend, amazing. Um, I went out and got some, uh, 
alcohol. So the Steel Brewery is in Normal, Illinois. This is a apple pie wild sour. I gotta try this, but I, I wanna pour it in a glass. So I'll be right back. Let's see what this uh, apple pie sour is all about. Like some, I smell like really slight notes of apple. Let's see what we got here. Let's pour it up, all oh, really clear. A little, yeah, that's pretty good. Oh yeah. That looks good. Mmm, smells good. All right, it says our seasonal sour ale is inspired by the flavors of the classic American pie dessert. Brewed with tart apple and cinnamon flavors and lactose, this ale hits all the notes with a light body and tart finish. Cheers. Sour ale with tart apple and cinnamon flavors and lactose. 4.6% alcohol by volume. Once again, this is the Steel Brewery over in Normal, Illinois. It's pretty. <laughs> oh yeah. So it does got that green apple tart flavor. Got a little bit of, almost makes you want to pucker, you know? Yeah, this is nice. If you like sours, this is a really good sour. It's not my favorite sour, but it's a really good sour. It's making me wonder what else they got over there because I haven't drank anything. This is my very first one. Okay, so when it comes to sours, Wake Brewery over in, what's that, Rock Island? Rock City, Rock Island. It's right there on the Mississippi near Davenport and right next to Moline. Right next to East Moline, I believe. Dude, now that's some good sours. You need to go over there. I, it, it's hit, I don't know what, I've only been there one time. And they had something called a sleaze cake. Oh, amazing. You can tell I like it. All right. So, these, uh, I've got, oh, I got a brisket. I think I'm going to make it for Thanksgiving. It's a, it's, it's a fat brisket, but it's not a wide brisket, which is a little weird. So did it come off a young cow? What happened there? But it's thick. It is thick. And that's how I like them. I like the, I like the briskets to be thick and I like to cook it fat up. Huh? Yeah, I used to cook them fat down. Now I cook them fat up. I like it better. If you're wanting them to get that bark prettier, I guess fat down's best, but I'm about flavor. And just like I do my pork shoulders, that's what I want. All right, I'll be back in a minute. All right, so we had a couple fall off. That ain't no big deal. That ain't no big deal whatsoever. So it's been an hour. They're looking really good. So I'm gonna start putting them in a pan.
we'll put it in there until she hits about a 165. All right, see you in a minute. All right, guys, let's pull these out. They look fantastic. They're about 175 degrees, though, so it's a little over on that. We'll see what happens. I'm a little set to cool off for a little bit, make some collard greens, and I don't know what else. We'll figure it out. And this chair, something's happened to it. Okay, so the chicken's done. Mmm, smells divine. I made me a little corn here. Got some Tony Lashery on it. And some collard greens. This is those, I think it's called Morning Glory. So uh, I got a little Texas Pete hot sauce. This is my favorite hot sauce. I just need a little bit of it. Yep, that's plenty. Now let's see what this chicken tastes like, guys. So juicy. Oh my God, that's good. That meat church, meat church, honey barbecue. That's some good stuff. Mm. See that smoke? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, when you put these on a trigger, they come out a little pink. But this was uh, 175 when I took it off. Get a little collard greens here. Look at that, boy. Mm. Mm -mm. That's right on. All right. And then, I, of course, I got my cider, my apple pie sour. All right, guys, thanks. If you like this video, like and subscribe. Once again, the what I did here with the smoke and the Traeger, that's great. You can do this in your oven. Um, if you're gonna get one of those drumstick holders, those things are made by Traeger also. I'm sure other companies make them by now. Uh, if you've gotta do that, then be sure you're catching the grease that's dripping off of it if you're in your oven in your house, because if you don't, you're gonna have a lot of smoke. All right, guys, I appreciate you. See you next time.